So today we're actually gonna end up building two things and yes, we are finally starting the hay rake. It's gonna be slightly different than a hay rake that spins, but this one that we're building, I think is gonna be way more practical than a spinning one for us because there's so much more we can do with it. I'll kind of show you how I'm gonna build it in a second. But if you notice a lot of our barns, they're just littered with hay. It's just everywhere. Look, let me check this out. Tons and tons and tons of hay. Same as when you, you rake up a field. You go through the field and there's still hay left over in the field. So what we're building today is gonna rake up not only this, but the stuff we leave in the field. And it's for the kids' tractor. It's not for our big tractor, it's for the kids' tractor. So let's go take a look. I'll kind of give you my idea of everything I wanna do. So one other thing we are building today is Holly's been wanting a red tractor. So we got the case version of this one. So we can supercharge it. We'll do all that today, make it much faster. So we'll get building to that today. Holly's been wanting a red one. She enjoyed her last red one, but it was a little too slow. So we're gonna go with this one now, and I'm sure Hudson will want a red one too. So we'll have green and red. Another thing, for some reason, we have another one here, and that's not Hudson on the cover. I'm very curious how many of these we actually sold, because I'd be probably willing to bet it's, I don't know, maybe 50,000 of these we've probably sold. So I think Case might see an uptick in sales here pretty soon when we start using this, especially if the kids live it, which I'm pretty sure they will, especially after we make it faster and maybe add an extra tire back there, make little duels. So we'll do that today, but I wanna get done with the rake first. So we're getting to maintenance done on our hay rake tractor and something that happens a lot is these end up breaking, bending, things like that. And I've been accumulating a lot of these because that's what we're gonna use today. So let's go take a look at the pile. So we have a decent amount of these in. So it used to be double, but like I said, they always break right there. So what we're gonna do is we'll probably get a piece of angle iron, probably angle iron, yeah. And then we're gonna end up welding it on there like this. And we'll line a big old line of them up. Now obviously the thing ends right down there. And this is what we'll use to kind of drag behind the kids tractor. So it'll make like a big bar back here. And I don't know how many we have, but I wanna get a bunch of them that line up just like so. That way the kids can drag. It'll probably be, I don't know, maybe three, four foot long. And they can use that to drag behind them inside the barns, inside the hay fields, to clean up all that hay. And it's gonna be a lot of hay. So I'm excited to get that going. I don't think it's gonna be too difficult to make, but you never know. Let's go get a count of how many we have. That way I kind of know how big we need to make the uh, bar. So I wanna put them pretty close together because I don't want any hay getting by them. I want them to clean up everything. These hay barns are probably gonna have probably a round bill or more worth of hay just on the ground there. So uh, let's go get all those gathered up, see how much we have and get a piece measured for us. So we got a three foot bar. That is what we're gonna use as our main base for the rake. And it's gonna be wider than the kids tractors, but I think that's okay. It'll be a nice grabbing pattern for grabbing all the hay. We're gonna fit a lot of those little teeth on there. It's gonna make, I'm worried about the weight a little bit because it's not gonna have wheels. It's just gonna drag on the ground with those forks. So I'm slightly worried about the weight, but we'll see what happens. If we have to, we can use this one and maybe put a little weight in the front to try and counterbalance the weight a little bit. But I think, I think it's gonna be okay. So first things first, with this thing, I wanna get the forks welded on there first. And then after we do that, figure out the best way probably to mount it to the tractor. But the forks are gonna go on the inside of the L. That way this backside, is what we can use to, for the mounting purposes to the tractor. So let's get these things welded on first. So we're gonna attach all the forks to our angle iron just like so, we got it on here. Sorry if you can't see, it's a little dark in here. But I'm gonna weld them all on. We have 14 in total. So we're gonna go along the line, weld them all. I want them pretty close together, probably come something like, maybe even closer than that, honestly. So some of them are in opposite directions because these are broken in different spots. But I don't know, probably, I don't know, probably something like that. Maybe even a little closer than that. I'm not gonna measure them out. I just wanna get them as close as I can. If we have too big of a gaps, a lot of hay is gonna go through. So I wanna keep them as close together as we can. Um, like I said, 14 of them all the way across. And if I made it a little too long, that's okay. We could just chop it off wherever we end up. So let's get all these welded on. All right, so we got it welded together. I'm gonna show you here in a second. And my original thought was when I built it, I didn't want to use wheels because it's just, it makes more difficult when you have wheels, more moving parts just creates a disaster when you're making these little things for the kids' tractors. Uh, but it ended up being way heavier than I anticipated. As you know, weight does not also go well with these little tractors. They just do not do good when you're trying to add something heavy to them. They bog down, they time out, all sorts of things. So let's go take a look at it. I'll kind of explain to you what I'm thinking, but I'm, there's a trailer that I built probably a year ago for the kids tractors we don't really use anymore. So I think I'm gonna deconstruct that in a way where I can fit this rake on it. Let's go take a look, but it's just too heavy. So here's where we're at currently. It's about 32 inches from end to end. We got a bunch of these, they're just welded on. 
It's nothing difficult. It came out great, but it is just way too heavy. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just too much weight. So we're gonna have to find a way to put that on some wheels to where it's still dragged, because I want it to drag. We gotta do a little altering. A few of these, they got a little bent. That's not for me. That's because these are all used and broken. Um, some of these look good. Like all these middle pieces are pretty good. A few on the ends are pretty good, but that, this one here is a little messed up. We'll have to put a torch to that one, try and get it straight. But let's see if we can put some wheels on this. So this is a trailer we don't use anymore. I took the wood off the back. So the plan is, is to mount this rake somewhere along in here, I'm thinking. I wanna chop the back off, make a riser, so this lands perfectly where the rakes go over the tires. That way it can drag all the hay good. It's already got the tongue and everything on it, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I wanna chop this off, find a correct height to get that off the ground try and put most of the weight kind of on the wheels and not so much on the tractor. It's fine pulling the weight, but if you got the weight back, it's just gonna make it do wheelies. We already have problems with that since we supercharged them. So let's see what we can get done here. I don't know if it's gonna work, maybe. So now you're kind of getting an idea of what I have in my mind. I think this is gonna end up being pretty good. It'll help us clean the barns. I think it actually, not even joking, it's gonna help us clean the barns. The kids can drive through the barns. I think it's gonna get way too much hay probably, but it'll be good. So I'm thinking I wanna set this beam probably about right here. Like I said, I wanna put a lot of weight on the wheels so we can pull it rather than make it do wheelies. So put the weight on the wheels. I'm thinking about right here. I need to get a little riser, probably about that high, I don't know, six inches or eight inches off the ground. I'll try and do this measuring by myself. I can't hold the camera and pick that up and then use a measuring tape. We'll see what we can do. I, I think we can make it work. And then after we do that, I wanna paint it and I wanna make sure I try and straighten out some of these forks cause there's, as you see, it's pretty good all the way until about right here. And these three don't touch. They're a little off in comparison to those. So I wanna bend these out to where they all kind of match pretty good too. All right, so I got it all tacked on there. I'm curious if this is gonna work. I'm not a hundred percent on this. Hmm, let's take a look. So I think it's gonna work. I don't have it fully welded. This hopefully it doesn't break on us here, but I just got everything tacked. I don't even have that tacked on there yet. But I think that's gonna work. I wouldn't see why not. Almost every fork is touching the ground. Like I said, those first few, we gotta take and make a little adjustments. But for the most part, I think it's gonna drag pretty good. I feel like there's a decent amount of weight still on the back. Maybe what I could do is angle that as hair to where it touches down more, to where this is almost getting pulled on the ground and the tires are just a little spinning. Kind of put weight on both the tires and the backs. So we got it fully welded together. I think it came out pretty good. It's nice and sturdy. So here's what I did to try and uh, make these do as much work as possible. So you can see a little piece of metal under the tires. I did that to raise the tires just ever so slightly. And then I made sure these are touching the ground and then I welded it. So when we remove that piece to where the tires will normally be, these should drag just a little. And that'll help clean up every little last bit of hay, probably not all of it, but a lot of it. And in the fields where the grass is already a little tall, when we cut it, you'll get all the hay. So I wanna get this thing painted, but I just wanna show you something. I wanted to get it where it's perfectly balanced. And look at this, I'll barely tap the front. It is balanced very well, so I'm happy with that. Cause that's gonna put less stress on the tractor. Well, I think this one's gonna go on the new case tractor cause I'm gonna paint this one red. As you can see, there's a little red bottle right there. So I'm gonna paint this thing red. This will probably go on our case tractor. Um, and I'm excited to put it to use, but first let's get it painted and make it look nice. But I think it came out pretty good. I think it's actually gonna work. All right, so we almost got it fully painted. I thought I had enough in my spray bottle, ended up not having enough. So didn't get that bad boy finished. So I'm gonna have to run to town, get some paint. It's gonna take me a little bit. I wanna have Hudson try it or us try it in the shed too and pull it, but I'm gonna need to let it dry and I wanna paint it again. So we'll end up doing that next video and I'll make the case tractor. Uh, I'll build the case tractor for this also. A little red setup. I think it'll be fun. Hudson will enjoy it. Holly will enjoy it. She's the one who asked for the case tractor, so I know she's going to be excited. And she'll have a little red tool to go with it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, any more ideas for the channel, comments below. Instagram, it'll be in the description. You can contact me there too. Thanks for watching.